New study shows a surprising state is on top when it comes to the best money forecast. It's Utah. So how does Wisconsin rank? Are we a rich state or a poor state? And are things getting better or worse here? Jonathan Williams is with the American Legislative Exchange Council for State Reform. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. Absolutely. So what is this all about? What kinds of things do you measure to come up with this ranking? So this is the eighth year that we put together the Rich States, Poor States Economic Competitiveness Ranking. And we measure things that legislators can control, uh, things that matter for economic growth and opportunity across the 50 laboratories of democracy, as we like to say. And there are things like taxes and regulation and labor policy, things that all directly impact the cost of living, working, saving, investing, and doing business in one state versus another. So before we get to Wisconsin and how we're doing, which states rank the highest? This year, Utah earns the honor of being the state with the number one economic outlook in America. And this is actually the eighth year in a row, all eight editions of Rich States, Poor States, Utah has come out on top. They've done that through a mix of reasonable regulations and, and lower taxes. And one of the things that they've done, which has been innovative and really ahead of the curve, has been cap their unfunded pension liabilities, which has uh, really threatened the economic outlook of many states, including your neighbors down in Illinois, which, of course, have made national news with their problems with uh, pension liabilities. So how's Wisconsin faring? The good news for Wisconsin is that uh, this year you rank 13th, which is an all-time best in our eight years of conducting this research. That's four places uh, better than just last year. And I think it's maybe one of the big reasons is uh, the aggressive way that Wisconsin has cut taxes over the last several years to keep the cost of living and, and working and doing business in Wisconsin uh, lower and keeping it more competitive relative to the other 49 states. Yeah, because historically, Wisconsin's had a really high income tax, right? That's correct. And still, the income tax rates are a bit above average on both the personal and the corporate income tax side. However, recent tax cuts have started to reduce those rates as well as uh, tackle the property tax problem. And as everyone's thinking about tax day next week, that's something on everyone's minds, I'm sure. Yeah, so what states are the lowest? Which ones are struggling the most? New York is 50th out of 50, unfortunately, and their problem has been that they've had high taxes really across the board on, on everyone, but then they try to compete in a way where they pick winners and losers by giving special favors to special businesses or uh, industries that they particularly like as a state government. And that approach, unfortunately, has not worked uh, for New York. Uh, they've seen more than a million Americans move out of the state just in the last decade to escape this type of uh, high tax environment and lack of opportunity and jobs. I know you said Utah has won consecutively for a number of years, so it's probably not surprising to you that they've placed so high on this ranking. But does that make it a good state to live in, that the higher you are on this scale? It certainly means a higher ranking in rich states, poor states, means that there's more economic opportunities in those states. There are states that are growing. There are states that are providing jobs, providing opportunities. And, and that's really the, uh, the way we like to look at it. It's not, it's not a static, backward-looking measure to say, where have you been in the past? It's about the future. It's about how you're uh, really improving opportunities for not just current residents, but potential residents from the other 49 states. Uh, over the last 15 years, there's been 43 million Americans Americans move from one state to another, and they're voting with their feet, as we like to say, very strongly towards the states that value economic opportunity, like Utah. Really quickly, then, what does this mean for us in Wisconsin? It's great that we've come up four places. Is there anything we can do as average citizens to help improve even more? Well, certainly what it means is that Wisconsin is improving. Its economic outlook is now among the most competitive in the country. But to your point, there's still some work to be done, reducing personal and business income taxes, uh, reducing property taxes further. There's always more a state can do because there's a lot of competition at the top. Uh, the good news, though, is Wisconsin is moving in the right direction. It's very exciting to see, and taxpayers have something to be thankful for this tax season. That sounds good. Great to talk to you. Thank you so much for the information. Absolutely. And uh, your listeners can go to alec.org and download the full edition of Rich States, Poor States. Wonderful. Thanks again for your time. And again, that website is alec.org. Stay tuned to find out what's coming up tomorrow on The Morning Blunt.